We know that FFR, physiological measurement of coronary lesions, improves outcomes and saves healthcare dollars or pounds or euros. And, but we also know that FFR is underutilized. So the actual use of physiological measurement lags the data. There are currently two commercially available ways one can measure FFR. The traditional way, which is with a pressure wire. And there's also now a, a pressure monitoring microcatheter that you can advance over a coronary guide wire to also measure FFR. And there have been unanswered questions whether the catheter itself, because the crossing profile is larger or bigger than that of a wire, whether the microcatheter itself could influence the FFR and be inaccurate. So the unmet need of this trial was to compare the FFR with a microcatheter and a pressure wire over a spectrum of types of coronary vessels and lesions in a large perspective fashion. The ASSIST FFR trial was a prospective multicenter observational study involving about 245 patients with target lesions across the spectrum where we both measured pressure wire FFR and microcatheter FFR and compared the two and to determine whether there is any bias or difference between the measurements. First, we enrolled, again, a large spectrum of, of types of lesions. About a third of the lesions were in vessels smaller than 2.5 millimeters, which really hasn't been seen before. And we found that, on average, the microcatheter gave a modestly lower FFR value. The bias, or average difference between the two, was about minus 0.022. That is, about minus 0.02 lower FFR ratio with the microcatheter versus the pressure wire. Now, it's important that not all, the, the average bias was 0.02, but it would vary based on actually the physiological severity of the lesion. So the lower the FFR measured by the catheter, the greater the difference or the greater the bias. So that in the end, the bias didn't affect decision-making all that much because the biggest differences were at very low FFRs where you treat irrespectively. So the diagnostic accuracy of the catheter was about 80%, mostly driven by differences in the gray zone at about 0.080 for the pressure wire. One unanswered question was whether lesion length and how big the vessel is, would those factors influence the FFR value measured by a microcatheter? And we saw that, yes, indeed, reference vessel diameter lesion length tended to be related to a lower FFR value measured by the microcatheter. But if you just look at the FFR value alone of the microcatheter, that really takes into account reference vessel diameter and lesion length. And again, the lower the FFR, the greater the bias. FFRs greater than 0.85 or more, really very similar uh, results with both the catheter and the pressure wire. A microcatheter-based FFR provides a modestly lower FFR than a pressure wire, but in general did not impact clinical decision making. And you can really just measure your FFR with a microcatheter to understand how much of a difference there will be. So the lower the FFR, the greater the difference, but with FFRs that are greater than 0.80, there's really no clinical impact about that difference at all.